Okay, so we're here at the um, at the East Coast Slingshot Tournament in Alberton, Pennsylvania, and um, I get a chance to interview Jack Kohler, um, a very very prominent fi uh, figure in the slingshot community. Uh, he also wrote probably the book that you have to read if you're in the slingshot community if you're interested in slingshots. So, Jack, how do you like the event so far? Oh, I love it. Uh... It's uh, by far the best uh, slingshot event I've ever been to, and uh, it's, it's just uh, wonderful. Although I didn't shoot that well, I, uh, I still had a good time. Well, that's an underestimation. You didn't shoot that well. Probably for his you know, standards, he didn't shoot well. But I, I saw him hitting the bullseye five times in a row yesterday <laughs> with, with Johnny Weissmuller crying every time he hit him. So, <laughs> um, so he is a great shooter, believe me. I get lucky once in a while. <laughs> So we talked yesterday and you told me how you got in touch with slingshots and I think that's a very nice little story. Well, uh, when, when I was a kid I lived way back in the woods in the uh, upper peninsula of uh, Michigan and, uh, and I carried my slingshot with me all the time and we had gravel roads at that time and, uh, and of course I had uh, ammunition right at my feet at, at all times. And, uh, and after that I, uh, I kind of left it go until, uh, until about uh, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. and so there's about a 50 year span there. <laughs> but in between, uh, you know, the two slingshot uh, phases in your life, you, of course you, you acquired significant skills as an engineer, I understand? Yes, I was a hydrologist for my working career. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I went, to, went into pool, <laughs> wrote a couple of books on pool, and, uh, and uh, then I, and I uh, quit that, and uh, that's when I got into slingshot. Okay. So, of course, you build a very, very interesting slingshot, and every one of us here has uh, have seen how well they are made and what kind of results you can achieve with them. So, would you mind explaining a little bit about your slingshot? Yes, I call it uh, the King Cat. Uh, it has uh, stain stainless steel uh, uh, forks, and it's a clamp-on system uh, right here, and you, so you can put uh, any kind of bands in there, flat bands or, or, or tubular bands. and. Uh, and uh, it's a site I rigged up with, uh, with, with little uh, optical uh, type of uh, lenses on there and, uh, and uh, I just aim through that and adjust it up and down here and turn this one for, for windage. And, uh, so I'm not sure if it comes out in the video right, but this is beautiful polished wood and stainless steel. I mean, how many hours do you invest in just the polish Oh, job? gee, I, I prefer not to think about it. <laughs> 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 I get tired thinking about it. But the, but the stainless steel, getting it uh, polished is, uh, is a big job. I, I probably put more time in uh, on polishing this than making the entire rest of the slingshot. And I see it's, it's adjustable, the brace is adjustable? Yes, the brace is adjustable for, for, for people who are using uh, different pulling techniques. And, mm -hmm. So this, uh, this uh, adjusts uh, almost, almost straight to 15 degrees. Okay, that's a very well thought out slingshot. Uh, it's probably one of the best I've ever seen, so uh, I have to commend you on that. Well, that's a product of, uh, of uh, evolution. I started uh, with uh, something and, uh, and uh, it evolved into this, <laughs> in small steps. <laughs> Mind if I hold it just for yes, one second? Yes, certainly. It feels wonderful, it's so smooth. And it's lightweight, you know, it's very well balanced. So of course, I'm a right-hander, so I would shoot it this way, so I guess I would have to mount the sides on the yes. other side. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, very nice. it's very flat over the arm, and um, it, it's, it's very, it feels very solid. That's a great slingshot. See, many of them, uh, many of the slingshots have uh, the wrist brace back here, uh, uh, it's just flat. I, I, I put, I put the, this on here so it just goes right around your arm. So, so you can't put it like this. It's got to stay right there. So. Mm -hmm. And you're selling this to the lucky of us that, can, that are allowed to have a brace slingshot. You're selling this for, I remember, $88? Yes, uh, I'm uh, offering it uh, at $88. I don't sell many, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that's going to change uh, because, folks, I think this is a slingshot that is worth every penny. Actually, I believe you should sell it for twice that because well, the you, many man. of hours that went into the design and, and into making it work, I think it's a major steal. So, um, 
I can really recommend that one if you're into slingshots. And oh, yeah, you nice to see all these. Well, I thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, coming from you, uh, it's, nice that's, it's a great honor. <laughs> Well, thanks, Jack, and I hope that you're going to shoot some more balls today, but I heard you have to leave early. So. I have to leave in about uh, two hours. I'll shoot in until the very end, and then I'll leave. Okay, thanks very much. It's been a pleasure.